Day five. Cody, the man, the myth, the legend, just walked in. I believe we're gonna go to the same spot um, that we've been last night, yesterday morning, and the other day. It's really promising in the morning, saw a lot of rut action, a lot of bucks. So this time we're gonna play a little different. We're not gonna set up on the sides and watch where they go, what they do. We're gonna try to get stationed up along those fence lines that they keep hopping back and forth. Got my cup of coffee, Eric's ready, Casey's cameraman today, Brian's on glass, let's go do this. This is what you call hot hands, AKA a burrito. Stay warm in your pocket, keep your hands warm. Don't worry, you got orange on the other side. Oh, what's this? Cutie, a little smaller version if you're not as hungry. I love it when you call me Senorita. I'm ready to roll, bro. We have this long drive every morning. A lot of these guides are quick drivers. Um, we don't really know these roads. I've been driving because I'm the hunter. I'm really learning these roads, guys. Let me tell you that. My lap times are getting better and better every time. Day five, past the halfway point, going back to, what do we call this place? Jum City? It's Jamaica. Jamaica, 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 Jamaica. These jumps are Jamaica me crazy. But uh, <laughs> we got a lot of big deer and good uh, action over here. So we're gonna hike in, get the glass up, see what we can find. Logan are sneaking down to this little corner right here just so we can like be in position if these guys spot something they're gonna sit up here on this rock cliff and uh, glass. The problem with these deer what we've seen is in the morning they're out pretty active but they're moving they're going to bedding and they don't give us a whole lot of time so the closer we can get the better it will be for us because we'll have more time to uh, hopefully get in front of them so we're kind of dropping off this hill and go sit up in this corner. Cody just radioed us and said he picked up a couple does over here on the point of these trees. So me and Logan are going to move through the flat and get to that next tree line. And then we'll stage there. We just got confirmation that this buck is bedded. It's kind of in the same area that we were stalking at two point yesterday. Cody says he's a big, he's a good one. He said he's a big one. I almost wish he didn't say it. <laughs> but we're gonna work down to the drainage. She's gonna pull out Martin and Eric. And See if they can get up on what they call Hunter's Hill to help kind of watch us. We just got notified that we have a buck spotted. Took a little bit of time this morning. The sun's already up, um, but it's a big buck. And we're gonna go get on the opposite side of the buck just to kind of get eyes on him and see where he goes if he gets up. Stocking in on this deer. My bow has been fine. It's brand new. I have not. 
not snagged my bow on anything. I have made sure on it percent. I look down and my yoke string is clean cut. My bow, I'm out of it. I have no idea how that happened. I pulled it back last night, full draw. So it happened. It, it happened today. Well, it sounds like Logan had some technical difficulties with his bow. We're not quite sure what happened. So we're actually gonna go meet up with him. Martin's gonna get in on this stock. So I'm bummed out for Logan, to be honest with you. That's the worst. I've dealt with that before on a trip. Sometimes a bow can be a pain in the butt. I think what we have to do is, even though it's an inconvenience, start traveling with our hard cases, or at least a soft case, because they just get bounced around a little too much on these roads. We're gonna confront the man that cut my bow string right now. I think Martin duped you. Martin duped me, dude. He's been riding in the back seat next to my bow all these days. Today he finally had it. Why are you sabotaging my boy, dude? Oh, shoot. Look at that. You're just about to go to. are moving out into the opening where the cows are. Right, right up here, so we're gonna just go straight up. I see him. I see the deer. Well, that was close guys. Just a little bit behind, a step behind like usual. Trying to catch these deer. We had them in those cedars for quite some time while Logan was making a stock, but as soon as we started putting the snakes on them, they bounced out and we were just one step behind. Got over the ridge and did get a look at the smaller bucks. There's two of them, but the big buck pushed four of his does. Uh, just kind of northwest of where we're at, so we're trying to regroup and see what's going on. But it sounds like BMAC has one of the other big bucks, what, one of the other jummies, somewhere to the north of us, just trying to figure out where. Alright you guys, well, it's been a freaking tough day. What do you do? Um, we were down there 150 yards away from a stud buck. I was looking at Onyx trying to line out. Brian had just sent me a photo of where the buck was and the junipers. So I pulled up Onyx trying to find relation where the buck was in the best path. Found a really sweet line, looked down to pick up my bow. Yoke string was snapped. Definitely cannot shoot that bow. It's the second to last day. 
we're really running out of time. And in my head, I instantly thought, well, that's my trip. JP just got off the phone with him and the string that they thought would fit my Helix is not gonna fit. That bow's done for. I can't use that bow. Gotta play the cards we dealt. We're shooting the backup bow really well, so that's the new play. Hopefully we can make something happen. She knew something was up. And we sat here for about 35, 45 minutes. And finally, we had to make a move. It's getting dark. So we came up to this opening, and at 45 yards, 50 yards, she blew out and took the rest of the deer with her. They were all further that way, so we wouldn't have had a play probably tonight. Oh, dang, it's a tough hunt, man. I'm telling you what takes a lot to have everything come together. So now we're gonna head back. Got quite a ways to go to get to the rim and uh, go get some dinner, meet up with the guys and see how Logan's doing with his bow. Yeah. Crazy day today. Yeah, one more day left. <laughs> 